Hi, everybody. I am Manuel. I'm leading the Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality Network for the CDBB. And I will explain you very briefly what is uh, Augmented Reality and Virtual Reality and what is important for the CDBB vision and just some of the activities that we, we will have. In. Um, so. so who we are? We are a mix of academics from five uh, universities in the UK and practitioners from four companies that are interested on how augmented reality and virtual reality can benefit to the CDBP vision. So virtual reality is the technology that enables us to experience virtual environments entirely generated by computers. Images are projected into head-mounted displays to simulate an immersive 3D virtual experience. Augmented reality, on the other hand, is the technology that adds virtual elements into the real environment. It augments our reality. It improves the understanding of our surroundings by overlaying additional data into the real environment. So if we have the real environment at one end, the one that we experience in real life, and the virtual environment at the other end, augmented reality and virtual reality are in the middle of this range. And this range we call mixed reality. So it all started in the 60s as rock and roll. But in 2016, 2.3 billion dollars were raised in, in investments for ARBR, a 230% increase in venture capital, and 52 companies of the 500 Forbes are developing ARBR solutions. So there are many applications for ARBR, including education, healthcare, training, marketing, retail, entertainment, of course, but also they are very important for the built environment for architecture, engineering, and construction. So ARBR are of utmost importance for architecture, engineering, and construction because they rely heavily in imagery for communication. The National Infrastructure uh, Commission identified them as a key technologies to increase productivity and to support decision making. So the main objectives of the Vision Network are to outline a current research and solutions landscape to identify current limitations and capabilities, and to define research questions that will inform a future research agenda. So we will have a series of workshops in these dates um, to incentivize the debate and to capture the views from industry and academia. You just contact me if you want to participate in one of the events or if you want to be involved more actively in the network, I'll be around. Uh, or just send me an email. Thank you very much.